one thing that was special about the walkout was that it was very student-led, so all the students planned the walkout and it was a very like student-based movement. I think it brought a lot of awareness to students and the community in general because there's a lot of media coverage on it. People in the school district were able to realize what's going on and see the issue of what's taking place. So we are advocating for A, student safety, but inclusivity. So keeping the classes is really important. Uh, allowing us to learn is important. And then we want the resolution against racism to be reinstated. And we want to make our schools a better environment and more welcoming for teachers of color and minority students. I think they put pressure on the board to make changes and even though they made the changes before the walkout, and I don't even know if the walkout was on the radar at that time, I do think the movement by the community did lead to a different decision than they originally had in mind. So I think that's important. Um, and the walkout itself, I think, is probably important because it showed, hey, these students themselves uh, cared. So the biggest thing is, is that if you see a problem, I think you definitely need to get your parents involved and have parents send emails to superintendents, school boards, and administration as well because they're just really trying to ignore us students. And so I think there's power in numbers, so we do need to get the adults involved. I think a big thing is not being scared. They're going to do things to try to intimidate you or try to get you to stop and continue because there's only so much they can do. It's more to intimidate you. And I think if you see a problem, you should fight for what you believe in, no matter how people are going to view you or see you. I would like to say to students, especially senior students or any parents that will be watching this, you need to get out and vote because these are the people who are making the decisions for us and for your kids. And if you're not voting, then you really have no, you have a say if you go out and vote. But if you don't vote, then you don't have a say and you're letting people who don't care about your children make decisions for your children.